All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna be in the 147 pound division where we have an update in a new, came out in a news article and Showtime Boxing, Steven Espinoza has provided an update on what's going on with the Errol Spence Jr. Terrence Crawford rematch. And it very well may be, according to this Pro Box website, delayed because Air Terrence Crawford is entering into another extended negotiation, potentially extended negotiation, and potentially enter, entering into an extended negotiation with Errol Spence Jr. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be in the 147 pound division where we're updating all things welterweight. Uh, this is, uh, once again, I have to say this for people that do not understand why I talk about the welterweight division, the lightweight division, the heavyweight division, the middleweight division. And I don't usually talk about guys that are weighing 105 because these are the weight classes that we focus on in this, in this, this on this channel. And I can't cover everything. However, this is interesting to me because the saga has been playing out for five years. So until it is all said and done, we're going to cover it. As we know, Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford uh, should be fighting each other again. And uh, after Terrence Crawford dominated Errol Spence Jr. in their first fight, and now we have an, more information on what's going on and when that will take place. But before I get into that, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you to Matty Yo. Thank you to my guy who I'm going to mention next time. Name is skipping my mind, man, that left one on the last one. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Uh, but let's get into this. Uh, Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. probably will not be fighting until 2024. This is apparently, this is the impression of an interview that was given by Steven Espinoza because there is more negotiations going on between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford apparently wants more concessions. This is apparently, I'm not telling you that I know this for sure, more concessions from Errol Spence Jr heading into their second fight. What else would you expect from one of the most frugal negotiators that we have seen in boxing? And that is Terrence Bud Crawford. Now, what could they be? The first thing that we have heard is that he wants more money for the fight. He wants to get paid more money for the fight. I don't know whether or not that means he wants to get a more guaranteed money for the fight or he wants a larger percentage of the pay-per-view for the fight in order to make have the fight go to 154 pounds. Now, what is my thoughts on this? And oh, other things that could take place. Let me get this in the mind, out of the way, too. Who knows? Terrence Crawford asked for Terrence Crawford is more than likely going to ask for more and more things, even after he gets the if Arrow says, yes, great, uh, you can have a higher percentage than what we agreed to for the rematch in exchange for this clause uh, to go up to one hundred and fifty four pounds. <laughs> Think about it. some of y'all have not. Most of y'all have never written a contract before or really read them or deal with them. And that's OK. But when I put a smile on my face, it's because, man, you depending on who you're dealing with, you really man, your contracts can wind up being this thick. You know, because you have to you have to literally document any eventuality because it's kind of like what they say about Don King. The negotiation starts when the contract has been signed. <laughs> right. Like, hold on now. Hold on now. Yeah. Well, these are the terms of our agreement, but we're even going to negotiate with inside the terms of our agreement. So take, for example, that they agree to a purse split for the for the match for the for the um for the. 
for the rematch, right? The, the purse splits are going to be the same for the rematch, right? And then, but you put in a clause that, well, the weight class is up to another person. So he then uh, up to ta- up to the winner, right? What weight class is going to be in? So then Terrence Crawford takes advantage of the of the relationship between those two clauses and says, "Hold on, yeah, 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 but I'm going to say no unless you change that clause." <laughs> Which is like, man, God, dog, man. That's why you certain people you just don't deal with, man. If you can't get a general understanding, being yes or no. But that's also why Errol Spence Jr. just has to say. And I would advise him heavily to just say no if he asks for more money, because if you if you don't say no, when you ask for more money, he is going to then you say, OK, we came to an agreement. OK, hold on. Yeah. All right. Send me in. Hold on, man. I saw something else. I saw something else. Hold on, man. What about the T-shirt rights that you, for the T-shirts that you sell that say strap season on them? OK, what about the residuals for the pay? What, I don't even want to give dude ideas about what extra he can ask for to try to make sure he squeezes every penny and every dime out of Errol Spence. I sometimes the best option is just to say no. However, if I had to guess what is going to take place is that fight is going to get stalled out longer and longer and longer and longer. It's just going to get stalled out. It's going to be that. Then it's going to be something else. And then it's going to be something else. Right. But as some people will say, well, you got to make up your mind by December because that says because it says it in the in the clause. Not as long as you're negotiating, you don't. If you make a counteroffer, right? Sake for example, now this only reason this this particular offer would work because a lot of this stuff is argumentative. <laughs> but if you say, okay, you have to have the fight by December, or he doesn't have to do anything. Not necessarily. Not if Terrence Crawford makes a counter offer and says uh, something that is changing in the contract, right? Because in the in the situation where Errol Spence, where Terrence Crawford has makes up his mind about 154 or not 154. That's not an actually a change to the terms of the agreement. However, if he in exchange for that, he wants to change the percentage purse that is actually making a new offer and therefore could be making an argument that you then that by making that new offer, then you have paused and have stopped his ability to execute and make this decision by that date because you didn't foresee that change. And then you can be wind up and you can wind up in court and these guys can be making arguments back and forth about what every term in this thing means. But again, that's why I say if I'm Errol Spence Jr. and that answer is not the answer is not. Yes, we can fight at 154. No worries. Man, just go on ahead and fight somebody else, man. And then let Terrence Crawford do what Terrence Crawford is going to do, which is not make nearly as much money as he will make fighting you. That's why you go into this thing. I'm telling you, it's called the best alternative to a negotiated agreement. If Terrence Crawford says no, does not follow through, does not come to a negotiated agreement, what is he going to do? He's going to have to fight Keith Thurman for less money. He's going to have to fight Jerron Ennis for less money, or he's going to have to sit around and wait, make no money, while Errol Spence Jr. can go get a couple fights in, easy money fights, and I mean easy money fights. Guys that you're going to bowl over, outbox, do what you want to do, look good, build, get your, get your bank up, and then readdress the fight. But, you know, that's just me. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you because, you know, don't expect this fight to be happening anytime soon, whether or not Arrow wants it or not. <laughs> anyway, that's my take in the matter. Let's uh, you let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.